Jack and I are gonna set up for the night investigation. And um, Jack has a great idea of kind of feeling out the space, see what we get. And then we're gonna call in our friend, Cindy Keza. Uh, she is a psychic medium. Yeah, where, does, where can this go? The hope with bringing in Cindy is that if we have some questions, Cindy can help us fill in those holes. Great. All right, so the light panels are all set. Okay. Kill the lights. Okay, so camera one, we have the heart of the house kind of entryway. Camera two, we have the second floor stairway landing, like where I thought I saw someone looking over me. Um, three is in the tower, like the turret, where the dogs allegedly threw themselves out the window. Camera five is the third floor hallway. Room six is the basement. This used to be the smoking room of um, Senator Patterson. So our mission is to figure out who it is that's here, if we know who they are, is there a history of them being here? Is there a portal here bringing spirits in? You know, a lot of people say there's a vortex or a portal in the heart of the building. There could be one. Hey, Katrina. Hey. How you doing? What's going on? I thought a good strategy would be maybe do like a big call out being like, hey, we're here, we're just documenting, we're not trying to, you know, get rid of you, this is your yeah. home, and yeah, we'll kind of go from there. I like it. Let's do this. Grab that gear. So there's a couple hot spots here in the house. Jack's gonna start in the Da Vinci room. I'm gonna start in the Prague room and see what kind of results we get from that. There are people that claim a very strong male presence in the Prague room and they feel watched. Leave this right here. All right, if anyone's in this room, any spirits, any entities, make the light change on this device. You just get close to it and you see, and if you touch it, it'll change. So do that. So I'll probably just start off with the voice session here, see if anything talks through, maybe it can give me some answers as to the questions surrounding this room or at least lead me to where I need to go. So I'm gonna talk to whoever is in this room specifically. Chris, who owns the building now, he'd really like to know who you are. Can you tell me who the man is in this room? This is a communication device, you talk to me through this. Uh, it's temperature change. That's very odd. All right, the REM pod just began to get triggered from temperature. It is a drafty house, but I'm just, I'm not feeling like a draft come through here. I shut the curtain and I reset the temperature gauge. So if it still plummets, something to watch out for. Whose bedroom am I in? Is it Mr. Patterson? Is it Patterson that comes to this room, Mr. Patterson? Yes. Okay. Senator Patterson, why do you come to this room? Do you like to be on the third floor? Hi, are you still with us? I'm talking to maybe Patterson? Seems like very random things coming through right now. Okay, so you've seen the temperature shift. Can you do it when I ask you to? I'm gonna ask you a question and make that beep like you've been doing. 
Did you die in this house? Are you a male? Are you female? I mean, that thing is going off. Did you used to live here? I don't know what to make of it, but it did seem like there was some intelligent kind of responses coming through. I'd ask a question, and then it would seem like now. Who are you? Is that Tulene? Catherine? Yeah, I think maybe I want to go out into the hallway, bring the rampod there, and we'll see what we pick up in the hallway. All right, heart of the house. Got my REM pod sat right here. Make that REM pod light up. We're in the heart of the house. Everyone said this is where it all happens. thought is when you relax your gaze and you kind of just like sink into your focus, people believe that entities or messages or visions can come through to you. So this is scrying. Basically, you just look at yourself in the mirror or you look at a fixed object in the reflection of the mirror and you just relax your gaze. You see that? Is that someone walking in the basement? Did you just hear that? Katrina, I'm hearing positive footsteps in the basement right now. Hearing footsteps in the basement? Yeah, I mean, that was clear as day. All right, I'm coming to you. That was loud and scary. Clear as day. I just heard. Does it sound like on the staircase? Or? It sounded like it was in the parlor. 